with the John R. Wooden Women's Player of the Year Award presented by Principal, given by the Los Angeles Athletic Club. And this year's award goes to, I know you're going to be shocked by this, Iowa's Caitlin Clark for her record-breaking season. She broke the all-time D1 scoring record, set a new three-point record, came within one win of Iowa's first championship, and then some, and then some, and then some. And we are so excited to bring her in. Caitlin Clark, National Player of the Year, Wooden Award winner, so many accolades. It could become old hat, Caitlin, because you get honored so much. How do you sort of keep all of this in perspective? I think the biggest thing is just like how fortunate and lucky I am. Like these awards never get old. Um, you know, I'm super fortunate to have a team like I do to have played for a university that supports women's basketball so much. And um, the two seasons that we've been, put, been able to put together the last couple of years have been really special. So um, I know it goes fast, um, but I think the biggest thing I've tried to remind myself is just how grateful I am. And a lot of people would want to be in my shoes. So that's kind of how I try to view everything. Do you have a, a custom shelf guy at this point? Like, hey, Jim, we got another one. Make the shelf bigger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a couple of storage units and my mom's been on me about going and cleaning them out and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just put them away in storage. Maybe one day when I'm a little bit older, you know, put them up somewhere. But no, I'm, I'm really fortunate and lucky. Uh, Caitlin, I got to ask you, when you saw that at one point 24 million people were watching you play basketball on Sunday, what did you think? It's so hard to wrap your head around. I mean, just when you see those numbers up against uh, some of the biggest sporting events in the world, whether it's the Masters, whether it's the NBA Finals, whether it's college football, I think that really puts into perspective what we're able to do and the way people want to watch women's basketball and watch women's sports. And um, I mean, it's truly incredible. And just the way it's grown even over the course of the last year, I mean, 8.9 million was special last year in the national title game. And then 18.7 this year, I, I think it just shows where women's basketball can go and women's sports in general, when you give them a platform. So, uh, I know our team and our program and our university was just lucky to be a part of it. And obviously South Carolina, them too, season they had was just incredible. There's only so much you can do. And coach Staley is, you know, one of the best all time. So, um, it was fun going up against them. I know that it has been 48 hours since that national championship game. I also know that you are an absolute gym rat. But, girl, have you been able to do, like, anything at all? Put your feet up. Just be basic. <laughs> <laughs> well, once I got back home in Iowa, I came back and saw my parents. So I got a home-cooked meal. I haven't had that since, like, Christmas break, so that was <laughs> nice. But then I leave again, obviously, for the Wooden Award. And getting to celebrate that with my coaches and my team and my parents will be really fun. And then you're right off to the WNBA draft. So uh, I'm on the move, but like I said, it, it's an exciting time. And, um, you know, I'm just very fortunate. You mentioned uh, Coach Staley, and I know that you've seen her post-game comments about you from Sunday, but just for the people at home, I want to remind them exactly of what she said. Listen in. I want to personally thank Caitlin Clark for lifting up our sport. Her sh she, carried a, she carried a heavy load for our sport. And it just is not going to stop here on the collegiate tour. But when she is the number one pick in the WNBA draft, she's going to she's going to lift that league up as well. So so Caitlin Clark, if you're out there, you are one of the goats of our games that we appreciate you. Caitlin, I'm just wondering, you've shown so much poise, so much maturity, but were there ever times she talked about that load? that during your career, you just felt a little burdened by all of this? I think there was definitely points in my career where you can kind of feel the pressure, but, um, you know, Coach Bluter always tried to remind me, you know, pressure is a privilege, and I'm so lucky to be in this moment. And I think at times you could see that with maybe how I played or things, I, not just little things. You could tell I could really feel the weight of the world on my shoulders. But I think more than anything, just the confidence. Like, this is a team sport. That's always what I relied on, and I had so many people around me supporting me. Um, and that's what I was always, you know, just fell back on to. And that's what just reminded me every single day of how fortunate I am to play this game. And then more than anything, I've put a lot of work into this and I'm ready for these moments. Um, and having confidence in that is kind of what prepares you for the biggest stage. And, um, you know, we went 16 and two over the course of the last two years in postseason basketball. So uh, a lot to be proud of for sure. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you broke 45 records, 40 five records exactly you're laughing that's absolutely absurd but we did it we did a mount rushmore segment on the pregame show before the championship game and of course we put you on the mount rushmore and i'm just wondering if you have your own personal oh. encore mount rushmore of moments from your career that are seminal moments to you oh that's tough there's so many i mean 
Uh, gosh, you can go back to like even my freshman year when we beat Kentucky to advance to the Sweet 16. Um, a lot of people at the time never thought Iowa women's basketball would be there in that moment. And obviously I was a freshman. Our team was super young. Um, Indiana buzzer beater my junior year, winning the Big Ten regular season title my sophomore year. Three uh, Big Ten tournament championships in a row. Uh, two Final Fours, back-to-back -back national title game appearances. Obviously beating South Carolina was huge for our program too. Um, so, I mean, there's so many moments it's hard to pick out, but, um, I think even like, I appreciate all the moments in between, not even like just the on court stuff, whether it was interacting with young fans, whether it was the goofy moments with my teammates in the locker room, like all of those are what I'll cherish for forever. I certainly will always cherish the moment that you got to see Maya Moore again. And this girl who's always so cool, calm and collected was geeking. I yeah. loved it. It was so fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are of course, definitely up there. Yeah, yeah. Right. You are, of course, expected Caitlin to be drafted number one overall by the fever in Monday's draft. It's been a little while since you were the rookie in a new environment. What are you preparing for the most? Yeah, I think, you know, being ready to learn, I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, I know there's a new challenge in front of me. It's a fresh chapter in life, but that's what excites me the most. It's like obviously a lot different going into college, but different environments, such talented players, um, you know, team has so much talent. So I think the biggest thing is just I'm excited to learn, I'm excited to be coached by new coaches. And um, yeah, I think the biggest thing is like just the challenge as a competitor, like that's what you love. Um, and that's one of the reasons I decided to leave college too. I thought felt like I was ready for a new chapter in my life and a new challenge. And um, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. We had uh, WNBA Rookie of the Year, Leah Boston, as an analyst during our coverage, and her eyes got so big at the prospect of you passing to her. What do you think about potentially teaming back up with your old national team partner? Oh, man. I mean, that would obviously be amazing. And I have so much respect for Aaliyah. And like you said, she's been an amazing analyst uh, this year. And she actually reached out to me after the national title game and said nice things. And, um, you know, I'm super excited. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be her teammate and know firsthand how talented she is and the bright future that she has. So um, it'll be special for sure. And lastly, before I let you go, so you can try and maybe get five minutes of sleep. Um, <laughs> This idea that, and there certainly have been plenty of numbers to prove it, that there's an entire sort of ecosystem around Caitlin Clark and the Clarkonomics of it all. But for the people that feel like this isn't necessarily a movement, that this is a Caitlin Clark moment that women's basketball is experienced, what do you say about that and how you're leaving college basketball? I think the biggest thing is like, I think the reason I've been able to have so much success and have this platform is first of all, the people that came before me and laid a foundation of what women's basketball is and what it has been. Um, I think obviously NIL helps. I think social media helps. I think um, being on nationally televised programs, whether it's ESPN, whether you go down the list of every national TV channel we played on, um, you saw the numbers. And I think that's the biggest thing is when you give women opportunity. They really, really thrive in sports and sports has taught me so much in my life. So I hope we continue to give women those same opportunities. Um, and, you know, none of this is going away. It's going to stay the same at the college level. Uh, the WNBA is already thriving and will continue to grow. And to me, that's what excites me the most. I mean, I think the young talent in the college game, obviously, as I leave, I'm going to be their biggest fans. And uh, lucky enough, I'll be able to come back and go to a lot of different college games. So, um, you know, it's not stopping now. And I think that's the biggest message I have for everybody. Well, we cannot wait to see you on Monday at the draft. Do you already have your fit together? Do we already know what we're wearing? I've got it narrowed down, but we're going to we're going to pan it out over the next couple of days. So I'm excited. <laughs> well, congratulations on the Wooden Award and just an incredible career. And we cannot wait to see you in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark, your Wooden Award winner. Appreciate you. Thank you.